they say with writing that if it's more personal, then it's more relatable. Like the more personal and real and authentic you get, the more people will relate. So in the chance that some of you relate to this, I'm going to just talk about some of the specifics, I suppose, and um, maybe it'll help. So um, this video is kind of about rejection and heartbreak, and for me it's in the form of theater auditions. And um, I feel like they say, I always say, they say, who's they? They say auditions are a surefire way to make anyone feel terrible about themselves. You're going against other people and you're naturally going to compare yourselves to them as you see them. In certain situations you see them audition so you directly can compare your performance to theirs. Not as objectively, ob objectively as you may think you can because you are inside your own skin, so you might be harder on yourself than um, someone else might be. But anyways, um, it's just, it's a very vulnerable thing, like putting yourself out there and first of all showing up, you're saying, I think I'm good enough. I'm gonna give this a shot. And then you give it a shot and you're in front of the people and you're putting yourself out there and then um, so you leave feeling like crap, usually, and then, um, you're waiting for an email or a call, and then you either don't get one, or you get rejection, or maybe you get the part, and that's really fantastic for you. <laughs> um, I have gotten parts in shows. I'm just feeling like a reject because it's been a lot of no's in a row's and so many no's in a row's, <laughs> just gonna go with that rhyme there, can be very heartbreaking and you can start to pin it on, uh, on yourself like what's wrong with me instead of oh, I'll just keep trying and oh it just didn't work out because I was too tall for this audition or for this show or I was because like if you're taller than the your scene partner, who's your romantic partner, I don't. There's like so many specific weird things that are just based on looks. Then some of it's talent. Sometimes like the other person's legitimately more talented, and that's just that's just how it is. And sometimes it's politics. Sometimes it's the people know the person or have worked with them. Um, like sometimes it's unfair, but sometimes it's like I guess like if you're choosing between two people who are good and one of them you've worked with before and you know that they're great to work with and the other you'd be taking a risk you're gonna choose the one you've worked with so I get that but then it makes it really hard for new people to get into the scene and especially in school settings I think it's important to give everyone opportunities so that you can they can grow and learn I feel like I could relate this to other things like you know having a crush on someone or something and then like or being in love with someone and then having them break your heart and then um but you like envisioned a future with them or you like pictured how great it could be or or you think you'd be great for them or something like you just like make up this story in your head and then um the real world tells you no and then you have to like your ideal world the idealists us nfs is shattered and you're left with your new reality which I mean in in reality so when I think of it so I have a baby he's a toddler now technically but um, if he if he sees a, an object like honestly anything's a toy for toddlers like you would love this just walk around with this I don't even know what this is it's like a part of the camera but he would um, walk around with this, say, but if he, it, and, and then if I took it away from him, he'd be devastated, he'd cry, sob, tantrum maybe, if he grew attached to this, 
But if he never saw this in the first place, if this was in a, its drawer proper, then he would never have that whole emotional experience. So part of that I know is attaching myself to the idea, but it's sometimes hard not to do that. Especially, and I think it's like almost it feels like romantic to ride that high, that emotional high that artists have when they get excited about a project or a prospect um, or an opportunity. Uh, it's tricky when it's someone else in charge because I have written a lot of my own opportunities as far as like I'm a singer-songwriter and part of that is because I couldn't count on casting directors to say yes consistently enough that I needed my own muse and outlet to be creative to where like I could act in my room all I want but that's it's not as fulfilling there's something about like the energy exchange of the audience and like you know having acting partners and whatnot so um as a, so then I became a singer songwriter and then I could write songs in my room and create and make videos record I've recorded four albums sounds like I'm flexing now but I have <laughs> done things with my music I've toured and made it my main like creative muse but it started with theater and that was a huge passion of mine and it still is a passion of mine but it's a very very it wears me down and it brings me down a lot because it's it's just really hard to stay strong and to keep going when even if like I've had roles that I love and I've had great opportunities as well and it's like it's just the amount of no's next to yeses it just can be very you can start to I said it earlier but think what's what is wrong with you even though that's not that shouldn't be the question um, this is it's a I'm in a raw place right now because uh, freshly uh, have been discarded from <laughs> discarded I'm like picturing my resume thrown in the in the no pile but um I got my hopes up about this musical they had me call back for Cinderella and I felt really good about my performance for the most part I and then as soon as um, the girl after me sang the song I realized that she would be getting the role of Cinderella and that I was second best Cinderella and um, I was blown away she was very very talented and um, I was also very uh, sad so um, I had this for whatever reason the director took two weeks to get back to me so I was just in limbo for a while and that's like a really weird stage because you're checking your email compulsively and it's just a lot like it's all for me I'm obsessing I'm fixated on this role and, and if I'm gonna get it and so yeah so anyways I found out that I didn't and then um, yeah when you're in the raw place it's hard to give advice because you're just kind of in suffering and you can't really see the wisdom yet until you're out of it but I know this too shall pass until the next one. Um, but I guess I just feel for the people whose heart are break whose hearts are breaking. La La Land is a really great musical. It's not a musical. It's a movie. <laughs> I I've been doing this thing too where I'm saying incorrect words for it's not what I mean to be saying. It's like slightly a weird variation that someone wouldn't use for a word because I can't quite think straight because I'm like foggy and down. Um, but La La Land is a great movie and it reminds me of this experience. It like captures it so well. It's so beautiful. And at the end, well, I don't know if I should give away, but there's a montage that really speaks to me that like um, poses the question of like, what is life about? Like creating and the simplicity of life being with your people because like those are two poles I have which I think you can do both create and be with your people and enjoy both and it's just a matter of like yeah 
a what capacity for them, um, if that makes sense. There are a lot of irrational thoughts that come with rejection, I think, like blaming yourself and thinking what's wrong with me or like thinking I'm, I should stop trying. I feel like sometimes I'm so intrigued at the resilience of humans. I know I'm just talking about like silly plays, like it's, I mean there's so much worse that people experience as far as heartbreak and loss and everything. But so in this limited experience and perspective, I, I just, it's incredible to me that I keep trying out because each time it does feel like why? Why continue to try? But at some point, my human is going to build up the courage again to put myself out there and try again. And that's just a remarkable thing we do. And if you have trouble doing that, I, I, I guess I understand. I feel like sometimes I wonder, almost, it's kind of nihilistic maybe, but like, yeah, certain things, are they worth, I don't know, gosh, I don't want to post a really, really negative video. Breaking into a clique, too, is hard. So I think of, like, each city has, like, a theater, not even, like, one theater group. There's, like, multiple different theaters and different groups, and they cast the same people, and they have, like, they have their little theater family. And I feel like I want to be a part, and I want to join the party, and it's really hard to get in there, and um, that makes me think of just like, yeah, clicks in general, and like feeling on the outside, and like wanting to play. Um, I just want to play with the people, and make some art, and create together. And, um, and sometimes I think I forget my worth when I show up to auditions, and, um, yeah, and after, and during, and <laughs> it's hard. Um, so that's just something that I experience, and one of the hard things, one of the... Sometimes it feels like if you share hard things that you experience, that someone can use it against you later, but I don't really know what they would do, just like comment, like, you're a terrible actress. I'm not, like, posting my acting <laughs> anywhere, so... Um, I don't know. I guess just if you are struggling with any of this on any level, because you hear that air, the air is going up. You're not you're not alone, and um, and it's not personal. It feels personal, and it feels like something's wrong with you, but you are wonderful, and perhaps a little unlucky. Um, yeah. It's like inside you know, I could do this. I could do this in my Molly way. Like I could really put Cinderella, I can Molly her up. I mean Cinderella, I'm not making this up. Keep putting yourself out there as far as you want to and then when you need to take a break and just eat a bunch of M&Ms, do that. I mean, Life can be hard, and sometimes for very silly reasons. It's like, I almost didn't even see this. If I didn't even know that there was this musical, I wouldn't even audition, and this wouldn't even be on my mind. But sometimes we even pick this up ourselves by attaching thought and meaning to it, and that can end up hurting ourselves. But it's like the whole thing, like, should we have, like, better to have loved and lost than to never have loved at all? That's a question that I'd like you to answer in the comment section because I don't know. I don't know. I think it depends. That's my answer for most things. It depends.